Right, I'm refitting an office and I'm using kitchen worktop. Uh, you'll see a picture of it anyway. So um, I need some legs, but I don't want to use normal legs because I need to support a shelf as well as the worktop. So, and I've got two of these. I've got two different projects actually, but using the same material. I need another shelf to support a computer monitor. But I'll come to that one in a minute, which will be shorter, shorter leg or some description. Um, these are old bits of a sign display from decades ago. What I'm going to do is make these the right length. I've, at the moment, I've just faced off one end. So they're not really too length at the moment. Um, two of them have got feet. So that's good. Um, the third one hasn't. I haven't got any feet for it. So I'm just going to make a plug which goes in the end. Because it's on carpet tiles. And of course that will just cut straight into a carpet tile. So I've got to put a plug in the end. And at the top where it's going to meet the worktop underneath um, I want to put some sort of adjustment on it so I'm going to put a plug in and then thread and tap it and then I'm going to get these bolts and put a uh, machine it flat but leave a little nipple in it so when I screw it up it will bite into the worktop and won't wiggle about and that'll go like so in the in the centre of that. So they're the jobs. So the first things are um, the plug for the foot and the plug for the tops with a threaded hole in them. And then of course I've got to machine these off and leave it a nipple. So let's um, crack on. So a bit of an old um, riser. Um, I try not to reuse these so I hang them around for just bits of odd scrap metal work bits like this um, nothing that's um, majorly structural because it's obviously it's suffered uh, shrinkage and all that kind of stuff so it's never great but say so they're handy for doing little jobs like this so this one I'm going to use so got a bit turned down nicely there already so I'm just going to match this to that and then I will machine it to fit in the end of the tube. Okay, that's looking good.
as you can see from the finish on this it's horrible metal well the metal's not horrible it's just the way that it's having to shrink and it leaves it gummy it's not great but um, for this it will do fine right okay so let's um, have a measure up Right, the tube is 27 mil, so I'm going to try and get that as close as I can. So if I knock that to 27, see you right. That's what we've got to come off. 7.17 mil. So call it 7 mil. Right, the next thing is a depth. Um doesn't need to be too deep really. So We will say about 25, 30 mil, 25, 20 mil, 20 mil will do fine. Step this up a bit on speed, see if that helps. I'm on 755 at the moment, so let's go to 1255, which on this lathe is the next speed up. improved things a little bit. I wouldn't say it's hugely improved it, but it's definitely improved it a little bit. Um, I've forgotten where I am. I think that should be three mil off. Oh, no, no. Go on to this. I've got 1.25 to go. That's because I was doing two mil cuts. <laughs> oh dear. Right. That'll be one mil. Yeah. 
Beach. I'm not going to power tap it without oil, that's for sure. Right, let's part it off. I might put a slight taper on that first actually. Thank you.